Oh, hi. I just wanted to document my first Riverford delivery. I've been thinking about doing, getting like a, some kind of veg box, some kind of veg box basically. Um, not just a veg box, some kind of like organic type situation. Not to do a big shot with, but maybe get some veg boxes or salad boxes or fruit boxes and then get extra bits. So I was looking at Riverford, Abel and Cole and another one, maybe odd box. Um, but Riverford and Abel and Cole were the ones that I was looking at because you can get other things. Oh, there's also like milk and more and things like that. But I thought I'd give Riverford a go because I also feel like I just want to support like farmers. One of the main reasons I also wanted to get a Riverford delivery was because I don't know if anyone remembers me talking about Gabriel ages ago having a rash and me thinking it was linked to milk and so he's been on oat milk for ages and he only will drink oat milk he's never been into water never been into juice smoothies nothing else he will only drink oat milk and I just don't like the amount that he's drinking and there's a lot of seed oil in there which isn't great so his skin's got a lot better so I've decided to try and put him back onto whole milk but I wanted to try and get whole milk from as close to the dairy as possible um so that's also something that's also a reason why i was like let me order a riverford box and get some other things as well because then i could just get milk that i know is um as close to the dairy as possible um so yeah this is just their whole milk so we've got a fruit box which has got raspberries in lots of bananas which is great because we love bananas some apples a small watermelon which i thought was great very manageable for me to cut um and then some plums as well you take that <laughs> oh him and his little snack bowl so i got a salad bag and in this week's one we have um salad leaves the cos lettuce red peppers, plum tomatoes. Two tiny, two little other kind of treat things. I thought I'd try their hummus, because Gabe and I love hummus, and some mozzarella, because we love mozzarella. Hello, we're gonna go out for a walk, and so I thought I would take this opportunity to talk about our buggy. We have the eye candy core. Just taking these two bits, remember these two bits I'm gonna show you, so you can see they're clicked in there like that. So it just extends this to be here. <laughs> right, basically, <laughs> Gabe is modeling. Very well timed, Gabe. Basically, because we can extend the seat to sit slightly back, Gabe can then very comfortably stand on this board just here. That's like one of the key things that's been really helpful for us at this point in having two children. So let me just put Elliot in the buggy and then we'll go out for a walk and we'll talk more about it. One of the main reasons we're going out is because I don't know if you can see this top is six to nine months and very tight. I need to go and get maybe 12 to 18 month vests for Elliot and definitely nine to 12 month sleep suits for Elliot. All right, just Gabe showcasing how easy it is to get on and off the buggy. In brief, here we are out as a three because of this glorious buggy. So you can see Gabe just stands on there quite happily. Um, I'm very lucky because Gabe is very safe. I mean, he can run off sometimes, especially if we're in the supermarket or if we're like by the river having a little run around. Um, but generally, um, I don't feel like I need to worry when I'm walking on the road with him. If he's by my side, he'll always hold my hand. And evidently, on here, he'll always stand on here really well, which I wasn't sure about when I first thought about going out with both of them. But he's so good. Um, and it's actually easier to go out with both of them than it is with just Gabe sometimes. It's a lot more patient when he's standing on here, I think just because he enjoys it. So we can go into the supermarket, like now I could go to John Lewis and buy things that I need to get. Whereas if Gabe was in his stroller, I couldn't really go shopping with him, he'd hate it. When I get home, I might talk a bit more about the actual buggy and why I didn't want a double buggy and why this has been so good, because I think out and about, I can't really cover all the points that I want to include. But I just did want to show you Gabe on the buggy and like us in action because it's literally been a game changer in terms of actually being able to leave the house with two kids. Please follow the instructions on the card reader. <laughs> 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 
Elliot just stares at Gabe <laughs> whenever we're in the muggy. He's so cute. He loves him so much. Okay, so we're back. I've just put Elliot down for a nap because he was very tired. And then I sort of gave him lunch. But as I was putting Elliot down for a nap, Gabe's very kindly wheeled the buggy into the living room for me. Those of you may remember when Gabe was born, I was very, very kindly gifted the eye candy line by the eye candy team. I had been recommended eye candy by many mum friends and it's by far and away the brand that I would recommend to any mums to be. We now have the eye candy core, um, which again has been very kindly gifted um, and I'm doing some content for them. So just to be transparent about the situation. This is the core as we have it set up at the moment. It's front facing. I think Elliot probably could start facing outwards, but I just quite like looking at him. Really, why it's been great with two. So we were debating, well, we weren't really debating. A lot of people asked me, are we gonna get a double buggy? And that was never on the cards because I thought Gabe is of an age where he doesn't really need to be in a buggy. And I just think that double buggies are so big um, and we have like a Victorian terrace house. If you know what they're like, they have very narrow like entrances and the, a buggy anyway is quite big, but a double buggy, I just thought that's just gonna be a nightmare. So it was never something that we were gonna have. I was just gonna make do. And that was the right decision for us because Gabe is at an age where, as I say, he doesn't really need to be in the buggy that much. This, you can do that so they can lie flat, which is wonderful. But it's also very easy to put down and I'm going to attempt to show you how easy. There's a clip at the back the top you push that forward and then either at the back that you push to the side and then where you would extend this you push that as well like that lift where it says lift here and there we go how easy is that now to go under my stairs okay well, i think you've done it for me honey so we've just got back from our little trip out. But yes, we just popped into town. I had to get, we went to John Lewis, which was successful, and then down to Waitrose to get a little Friday treat of croissants. So I'm gonna make myself a coffee because I suddenly remember the other day, um, when it's warm, I used to buy this all the time to make iced coffee at home. And so I picked this up the other day when I was in Sainsbury's and Gabe wants his milk as well. This is what he does. You want some milk as well, Gabe? Yeah. I remembered I used to, um, in the summer, buy this to make iced coffee at home. So I'm gonna have one of these. It's the Califia Farms Cold Brew Medium Roast Unsweetened. This I feel like is quite hard to get because they always seem to have one that has oat milk added in or like, like is a sweetened version or they've got like a mocha one. But I just want black coffee that's unsweetened and then I add oat milk to it. But anyway, it's a very easy way to satisfy your iced coffee cravings at home. Some ice. Get a straw and away you go. Hi, good morning, this is blurry. Oh, wait, there we are, we're, we're in focus, we're live. It's Sunday morning. I've just come to make another cup of tea because I have been up since about five-ish. Because it's lighter mornings, Sometimes Elliot can wait at five-ish. I don't mind so much because what's been happening, oh, my battery's flashing. What's happened this morning, which is I'll come down with Elliot for a bit. He'll have a feed and a little chat and we'll hang out. He'll then go down for a nap and Gabe has still been asleep when Elliot goes down for his nap. Hazley's also asleep. So I get a little bit of mummy time <laughs> to myself. And it's seven o'clock now and Gabe is still fast asleep. He actually did wake kind of around five-ish. I went into his room, popped his dummy in and like put his duvet back over him. And generally he will fall back to sleep. He can sometimes be awake for maybe half an hour or so. But if it's that early, he usually will fall back to sleep, which is what happened this morning. I've started watching Lizzie Hadfield again. I haven't watched her for ages for some reason. I haven't really watched lots of YouTube for ages. But I definitely haven't watched Lizzie for ages. So I've just been watching her this morning whilst up with Elliot. And so I'm going to go and sit and indulge in her again. I don't know why. I guess like maybe because I'm starting to f kind of find my feet again with fashion. Very tentatively. Um, so I feel like I want to watch those kind of content creators again. I also just love watching her like 
carefree life uh, possibly again for nostalgic reasons but anyway um, uh, I don't know how much more I've vlogged today but I just thought I wanted to capture this moment because it's really quite special <laughs> when you get pockets of mornings especially I feel like because I always loved a slow start to the morning I always loved especially in the summer getting up early um, in our old flat I used to go and sit on our balcony have a cup of tea listen to a podcast like I really like a nice slow quiet morning um, which doesn't happen often so when it does I really take advantage and I thought I would capture this moment um, on camera but I also now need to go and put this battery on charge so I'm gonna finish making my tea and yeah here we go it's Sunday good morning everyone as tends to go I can't remember the last time I vlogged I had a bit of a chaotic day yesterday is yesterday was Tuesday the day that Gabriel goes to his childminder so it's Wednesday also the day he goes yesterday for some reason he was sick in the morning at his childminders well around lunchtime so I had to go and pick him up so it then was just the day kind of ran away from me I don't know why he was sick I don't know if he has been getting himself into a bit of a state sometimes because it happened a couple of weeks ago but yeah he was absolutely fine after he got home and he was fine this morning I don't know what happened I don't know if he's made himself anxious or got in a state or whatever but that was the situation yesterday so Elliot and I are heading out into town hello we've actually had some very positive news which is that Gabriel has been offered a place at the nursery that I wanted him to go to um, I mentioned there were two options one was a definite which would have been great the other one was TBC because it's quite oversubscribed and we applied late but I found out yesterday or the day before yesterday that he's been offered a place which is amazing so yeah he's been offered five days a week which feels like a lot so we're gonna see um, but anyway I have to go and print the forms off to fill in to then drop back into them to accept the place um, and also pick up a few other little bits from town so I thought we'll have a nice start to the morning and do that but then I've got some admin bits to do which I should have done yesterday which is why I woke up this morning I just felt really frazzled and chaotic and I've got a solo parenting day tomorrow so it all just felt a bit much this morning and I was just thinking about all the things that I had to do um, and then I just thought stop doing that <laughs> what do you absolutely have to do today and just focus on that and so that's where we are um so i'm feeling much better a bit clearer also just feeling upset because it's times like this like my mum lives really far away and we don't have any family around us i've got friends obviously but like it's times like this i really feel the strain of not having like immediate help around um and I'm really close to my mum. We're going to go down and see her next in two weeks and stay, which will be lovely. But I do really miss her all the time, um, but especially when you have tough parenting days. So if anyone else feels that strain too, then you know what that's like. So yeah, it can all just get a bit much. Look at this boy with his leg. So chilled. <laughs> it's a while Hi. later since I spoke to you. Um, my hair <laughs> looks not great, but I had a shower. I'm just hanging out with my little mate. Hainsey's downstairs on a Zoom. So Elliot and I are just chilling up here. And I just ordered in some lunch for myself because I couldn't really be bothered to make anything for myself today. And I do need to take Elliot downstairs to give him a little bit of lunch. I'm supposed to be weaning, but honestly, I'm just, I can't really keep up with it. But obviously he can't feed himself. So it's not like if Gabe was here and like Gabe could eat lunch and I could eat lunch at the same time. I'm going to eat that now and I think Elliot will watch me and probably want to eat it also. You can see he's already eyeing it up. <laughs> oh, what's that? You want some sushi? Um, so an update since I last spoke to you. Elliot and I went out to town. We have then come back. I then actually drove to Gabe's new nursery to drop off the like, contract that we had to fill in because they emailed it over yesterday. Um, and I thought I may as well just drive over it's only up the road so we did that it's good to know that that is sorted for September and like I was saying earlier I just can't believe he'll be out the house for five days a week it's it's crazy I feel like I just woke up on the wrong side of bed this morning like I had a shower and I feel so much better but this morning I really felt so cloudy in my head like almost jet lagged but I feel a bit better now haven't heard anything from Gabe's childminder so I'm assuming today's going a lot smoother than yesterday so that's good I thought I would just show you little garden updates, of which there's not many. I've just done my hair, which is why I look so glamorous. I've got to make one, so not that glam. Because I mentioned that we had basically 
you can see all around here and like there that was gravel which is now soil and then over here so the drain was blocked uh, but now it's unblocked um, so this soil that's around here it got like overflow drain water on it so I don't really want to plant anything there without changing the soil so I'm going to dig that all up um, and like re-soil it but again around here but you can see I've already got weeds coming through I need to weed so the plan is well I've actually planted some seeds along here along there and along here there's a weed there I planted these from the garden centre they're seed balls um, and they have seeds in them basically I don't really know how it works and I don't know if they work that well my mum was like just plant them and see so I'm not I don't have the highest hopes but basically the plan is that in all these bits hopefully like wild flowers will crop up I just thought if it was lined with similar to like this kind of thing this is my little trough I do have what's these these two are poppies no that's a poppy that's a poppy and that maybe that's a GM I'm not sure and then I can't remember what these are called um, but that's my little trough and then I've got my lavender and we planted some daisies here as well just really like it if all of this was just bordered with lovely wildflowers or like this kind of thing all around the edge so yeah nothing amazing but it looks so much better than it did um, and then this is my herb garden I don't know if any of you remember from last year it's thriving I've got lemon thyme chives the parsley we had to really cut back so that's coming through again oregano and normal thyme basic what's it called basic time or something it's called something that's quite like common time that's it but I think what I'd like to do now is kind of plan for next spring um, because I quite fancy shifting these down a bit but around here just having like a load of pots maybe not as big as this but just a load of pots with loads of lovely colorful flowers in that I could then have as cut flowers in the house it's like tulips dahlia things like that and just basically have like a container garden so that's my plan so i have to start thinking about that for next spring but anyway there we go that's the garden uh i've got to go and pick up gabe now hello good morning everyone i don't know where i left you off but here we are again it's friday morning i could have last spoke to you from the bed actually anyway the days will merge into one yesterday was a solo parenting day so definitely no content taken there it's Friday morning as I said I don't know how much vlogging will get done today I am planning to vlog also tomorrow and then wrapping up this vlog to then upload on Sunday Hainsley is taking Gabe out this morning on days where we don't have plans which is often to be honest one of us will take Gabe out for the morning and then we might do something in the afternoon but to be honest I don't know if anyone else find this there's a lot of pressure i feel like on social media to be doing things all the time with kids um with young kids and i felt this with gabe and it's similar with two like i feel a lot of pressure to be especially now that it's like summer holidays i feel the pressure that we should be doing like big family days out and making memories and taking all these pictures but if ever we've well we haven't actually no we have we've gone to family with both kids um but and i know from gabe when he was Elliot's age and like within the first year and year year and a half doing a whole day out is actually not very fun for anyone involved um and it's the same with two kids especially at such different ages because Elliot still naps so we could take Gabe for a whole day out now no problem but for both of them it's just quite a lot and I just leaving the house with two kids is a lot so we generally if we have both of them all day generally we Either one of us will try and do something with Gabe because he needs to be out burning off energy. Just being quite open and honest about it, leaving the house with two children is not that fun at these ages. Uh, Hazy's taking Gabe out for the morning. Um, so Elliot and I are having a little morning. We've just had like cuddles on the bed and he's had a feed and I've just run a bath for him. Look how curly his hair is at the back. Ooh, look at his little chubby face. My little chunky man. You can't see him, can you? No, good. <laughs> you never know on the internet these days, do you? Splash, splash! Yay! Splash, splash! We love splashy legs! Like you and your towel. Should I pop you up here? Now you're a bit too high. Um, 
it's Saturday today and I am going out for like a social event. <laughs> I don't even know how to say, like I'm going out to meet some girls for brunch basically. But I feel so like not used to doing this kind of thing. So it's very much like, what do I wear? I just, I don't know, I just feel, it all just feels a bit alien to me. But anyway, I'm gonna go and meet Danielle, who is on Instagram called Little Flashbird. She's amazing, she's an angel. She's organized like a kind of a, I guess like Instagram mummies kind of brunch situation at somewhere in Mayfair called The 22, which looks very chic. So this is what I'm wearing. It's oversized, obviously, it's from Cos. <laughs> I think you've probably seen it before. And then these very old and other stories sandals are. Let's get going. Uh, my lips, oh, I need to put perfume on. Okay, she smells good, let's go. It's a bit windy, so I don't even know if you can hear me, but I've come down the back streets because one street is very, very busy. I just haven't been in London for so long. Bond Street is very nostalgic for me because I used to go to uni. Well, I worked in Selfridges, then I went to uni and it was based at Bond Street. And like the number of internships that I did, having to come out of Bond Street Station. It's like my life before kids, do you know what I mean? So it just feels a bit like surreal almost to be walking around these streets. I'm just in Gabe's room, <laughs> finishing off this vlog because I actually could go into our bedroom now, but Elliot was napping um, and Hainsley's on kid watch. Um, so I've just come up here to finish this vlog because I was supposed to put it up yesterday and I didn't. I also didn't really finish out Saturday um, or really vlog very much at all, but it was absolutely fabulous. It was such a nice day. We got there for one, left at six because we were just chatting for that long and it was just so, so nice. I felt very sex in the city. So nice to be with um, Danielle and then there was a friend of hers called Alessia and a girl from Instagram called Emma. She's called Emma Rose Style. I follow her, she's wonderful. So nice to just sit and chat with other women, other mothers, people that work in the industry. Like it was just a very much needed like time for myself which was really really nice to do and like I say just being in Bond Street was like a glimpse of like my old life and so it felt really nostalgic but just just like yeah just really I can't really explain the feeling but just very like familiar but I guess comfort like it's a really odd thing but yeah it's just a really nice way to spend Saturday basically um but yes I'm going to round up this vlog now thank you so much if you've got this far for for watching for this long um i will be uploading a vlog next week as well so yeah i'm just gonna wrap it up thank you so much for watching i appreciate you guys so much lots of love Mwah.